Morning. No, afternoon. Afternoon. It's normally morning. It is. Okay, We're changing, changing things. But, yeah, because a puppy needed a haircut, which is ridiculous reason to change things, but well, I mean, needs must. You've had yours done. Your other half's had his done. And, you know, something Puppy's like had hers done. Yeah. I mean, she does look much jealous. better. No, no. It's, I'm just very grateful that people are back open and working again now yeah. because we were all looking very, very scary. So, <laughs> but here we are. Which is why mine is all um, tied back, but there you go. <laughs> Looks very neat though. And I can see your work behind you and you'll see today I am actually in my studio with the door open. So nice you might be able to hear children, children noises in the background because we live near, um, a nursery and a preschool and um a primary school yeah and so in the distance you might have children's playful oh, which I, I it's really nice at playtime because you get to hear all the happy kids yeah um so yeah and it feels like uh, there's some sort of normality when people are you know you can hear the kids going for such a long time it was silent okay. and which was spooky after 20 years of living next to a school. Yeah, we've just got so. tra the tractor going up and down the field. So occasionally the whole studio feels like it's moving, <laughs> but it isn't. But it's just the vibration. Yeah, you can hear. Well, that's, that's nice. Well, if you start wobbling, I will know it's not an earthquake. Yeah, you won't think it's just a dodgy connection. <laughs> I'll just do it now. Which <laughs> is likely anyway. The dodgy connection is always oh, guaranteed, isn't it? So it is, yeah, it, is. it could be one of those, one of those, uh, what do you call it, chats. Anyway, yeah, you've been busy, haven't you? You've been um, exploring what you're doing with this Nicholas Wilson course. I have been doing things out of my comfort zone, completely alien to me. Yeah, totally foreign, and pushing boundaries and my way of working and confusing myself <laughs> non-stop uh, but it's fun it's really good fun it is I think it must help being in a group situation having that doing that together you know like all of you on the course are doing that together and so in a way Nick Nicholas Wilton must be able to sort of um he knows how people are feeling because he's run the course before, so he can sort of mm. support you. Because I've yeah been, it, yeah because I was gonna say because I've been trying to do things that are different to my normal way of working, and it feels really odd. It does, it does. It's um yeah I can actually see a couple of pieces behind you again. I always make a comment when you're in your studio about the pieces that you're working on or waiting to dry or everything, because the trees behind you are quite a step away from the seascapes they are i mean i do do landscapes and the color nothing in them i mean that i did a while back so that that was that was a i suppose a progression from sketchbook work mm. i just felt i had to come back and do a mixed media piece in that so that's just everything from charcoal and ink and acrylic all chucked at it but i love it nice. i absolutely love that but no yeah, i do I've been doing the um, 100 day project mini collages and I did 50 in colour and then the second 50 I'm doing in black and white and grey sort of monochrome. How's that going? I'm enjoying it, really enjoying it. It's tricky to work in black yeah. and white, sort of just tones and some are better than others. But mm. I'm finding, I then thought I'd try and do, I like the, the mark making you got with the collage you could have a quite a patterned piece so sort of maybe a big sweep across on a collage yeah you stuck on and I thought it'd be nice to try and incorporate that sort of element into a painting so it'll be a bit oh, that sounds nice and I started and you know I did it and I, I mean I've got two on the go and one is one I actually painted over a bit of a circle I did a circle like a and I actually took some of it out because I just thought it looked a bit too contrived, mm. if you know what I mean. Um, and the other one I'm happier with because, I mean, I don't know, do you, do, when you're doing your course, trying out things, has there been a point where you think that you know, the pennies dropped or 
you can see your work changing slightly or have you not reached that point yet? Yes, no. Sorry, I've got a pup who's just arrived. So I'm just going to, because I'm sitting on her seat in my studio. Oh, so hello, there. Biggie. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, I do feel it's a real experimentation. I really do. Yeah. There's no other way around it. There's, um, I've done, because I'm working with, you know, I, uh, for the last few years, I've been working almost exclusively in oils. Yeah. And I'm working in acrylics at the moment. I usually work on canvas and I'm working on board. Well, that's a big change already you know it's that that straight away is kind of well this doesn't bounce <laughs> which is quite strange for me oh what's going on there's no you know yeah. there's no yeah. you know, give back if you like on the you know because canvas kind of bounces back at you um and this is just yeah and then to start with we were working in very restricted colors of, of black and white just You're to right. Right. Similar to you yeah. to kind of explore contrast and you know the the almost to exaggerate contrast yeah and then moving into color and even then limited palette mm. um, but with acry acrylics of course so to start with I was kind of what on earth am I doing and I just had to see it that actually I'm just playing yeah if anything comes out of this that looks like the start of a painting I'll be thrilled nothing has nothing yet, has yet however <laughs> yet I, I'm getting used to textures the texture of the acrylic is, is totally different as you can well you know I mean I'm I'm almost using them like oils but are you um, putting any medium in with them to make them feel more like oils not yet because, because I'm trying to stay true to the course right because that, As it would, is. that would help because it would be yeah. a lot more buttery. You'd get a more buttery feeling. If you Absolutely. But at the moment I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get the feel of the, of the, of, of acrylic paint without adding. I'm it trying not because yeah. I have found I am, it's very easy to revert to type. It's very easy for me to kind of go, oh, I know I can do this. So I'll do this. But actually, I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm supposed to be pushing my boundaries. So that's quite a challenge, not to just kind of slip back into habits. I think that's something we must all struggle with because when yeah. I've been working on these, um, so I started doing these limited, you know, black and white and gray paintings. So I only did two. Yeah. And I was, the way I was painting was more con what I call considered in that yes. I was thinking, yeah, I, think I was trying to work it the same way as I would do a collage. I was thinking of blocking and what I don't overlay with. And, but every time I came into the studio, it just looked such a depressing painting because it was really, <laughs> the greys I'd used had been really quite cool. And so it was a like- bit dirty. Yeah. yeah, and I just thought, mm, not so keen on this. And I, was thinking like okay maybe bring in some extra texture and I was trying that yeah. and it all just looked a bit naff I think is the word so, you know it just wasn't working and then afterward after I'd have a session on there I would think right I got a palette to use up right and I just got some paper out taped it down and then just let loose and sort of almost not reverted to type exactly but yeah I just almost had to have that freedom you know, I've been controlled all day and then think, right, okay, let's just mm. go for it on this one. And so yeah. we come out with it. So I've actually finished a couple of pieces, one on a canvas board and one on a can on paper that yeah. really are full of life and energy, but they're nothing like the, the ones in black that I'm doing. But saying that, you know, I just thought, but because I've taken it so far and I'm, I mean, I'm not, I've not got any rules. It's just my own self-imposed rules. I thought, yeah. right, I'm going to warm this up a bit. So I put a, um, a burnt sienna glaze over it, a very light one. Oh, that sounds nice. And it's just warmed it up a bit. Yeah. And I then, um, I've been, you know, I've been intrigued with all these sort of hedgerows and patterns. Yes. And I exaggerated 
that because I have this little bit, say if you think of a quarter of a painting and if you think yeah. of the bottom quarter, I'd actually done some headglow marks. Yeah. And I thought it looks, you know, when you zoom in, they looked okay. But when you stood back, it just looked like a little bit of- Meant nothing. Nothing. So I exaggerated that and brought it higher and across. Yeah. So it wasn't just down here. I suppose I was a bit bolder with it. And Good. that worked. But also I dry brushed over it and the effect. Now I can see, I can see where the painting's going. And I think if I hadn't persevered, if I'd gone, oh, where's the colour? Slap it on. Yeah, and yeah, let's go back to what I know. Yeah, and just let loose. Just, we've got your, your other half walking across the background. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a little arrow sort of pointing <laughs> um, and oh, the, um, semi uh, I know I know it's all all like that but no I'm really quite pleased I, I'll show you mm. I trip over everything in the studio right mm -hmm. oh so oh, I love the textures Karen bit, I'm just extending across and that will be dry brushed out like these bits. That, and I, I really just, like that. And I like I like that texture. Yeah I but, do I really like that texture. It looks fabulous. So I think it's coming together and it yeah it took a while and it, I suppose it was like a leap of faith almost just to just try it. And it's we've got to, you know this is the thing. It's kind of uh, which I don't think Maybe, maybe in somebody else's positions, I, you know, in our other half's position, you know, partners, husbands, whatever, would be like, well, you enjoy what you're doing. So why are you pushing yourself to do something that is challenging and mm -hmm. you're comfortable where you are? And the thing is, nobody wants to stand still. Okay. And to, to be pushed and learn new techniques and learn what else you can do and experiment is actually... I think that's what keeps us creative. It keeps kicking back to us kind of, oh, this is interesting. And it keeps the brain working and keeps inspiring you to do more and more and more. Yeah. And I think that's what we need. We are creatives and pushing yourself to use different colors, different textures, different whatever it is, kind of gets the brain ticking over. And I think both of us, I mean, you know, I will acknowledge I have been in, um, a strange place for a while kind of quite stunted in my growth artistically <laughs> shall we say glad you and so I, yeah yeah, yeah. I, and I, I so needed kind of a, a bit of a kick in a different direction you know I needed to add some chili to the to the mix to get myself going again and so this has been really it's really interesting because you know the whole reason I'm doing it is I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely still paint in oils and I may still, I may paint in acrylics forever as well. You know, it's, you know, I've got enough blinking acrylic paint now, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just that whole thing of knowing what else you can do and keeping going and actually being inspired and reinvigorated. And that's what it's doing, isn't it? It's, you know, reinvigorating the practice where you feel, you can't wait to get back in the studio every day and you also, know you really I think you also realize that for, well for me I think artists in general it's the journey of creating something that's the bit yeah. that's fun it's not the actual just the finished piece you it, no. I think if you just went in and it was just like bish bash bosh and it's done yeah yeah there would be the, well where would be the um satisfaction and yeah fulfillment of actually doing that so, no, because I mean, yeah. you, you and I are, are very similar in, in some way. I mean, we're very different artists. And yet in some ways we're very similar because we need, we feed our souls almost from nature. Yeah. And that sounds quite arty, but it's true. We both get inspiration. We go for walks, we garden, you know, we love plants and we thrive with countryside. Yeah. And both the, the, you know, that feeds back into our work, however it comes out, even if it's abstract, yeah. that comes back into the work with the colours and the movement and how it makes us feel. Mm. Um, 
even desolate places will inspire oh, I us. I love desolate I know, places. I know, That's I know, I know. Empty beaches, yes. Wild, wild um, places, yeah. Yeah, wild, that kind of, you know, the untamed. And I think even if it's my kind of vibrant, weird, abstract, or your seascape or landscape that's got more muted colours, you can see, you know, the inspiration behind that. Mm. And I think taking that in a new direction with different techniques or trying different challenges can only be a good thing because it, yeah. you know, it again, you know, we come we come back to the same inspiration, but we can deliver it in different ways. Because the other day, if that, any of that makes sense? Yeah, it did. It, but the one thing that um, I I was just thinking the other day, Peter came into the studio, and I said, "Oh, I think this one's finished, and it's one that's on a canvas." And so I'd recycled a canvas, so I'd painted over a piece that I'd done previously, and because I'd been working in collage. Um, I was thinking in terms of pieces, you know, dropping colour in again. Yeah. And because it was canvas, I was having to use a brush. I don't usually use brushes. Use no, you're I a do palette use knife. brushes as well as palette knives, but mm. I couldn't get any resistance. So I had to be quite careful and measured where I was putting the colour. Yeah. And this piece I thought is, I thought is almost there and I'll, I'll get it again. So this is it. I'll keep diving off. Please do. Right. Right. Oh. Right. Oh, I really like that. Right. Yeah. Now, see how it's very blocky at the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. Love yeah. it. So mm. there was something about it that appealed. Mm. And um, I said, "Oh, I think this is finished. Do you think this? Do you, you know, what do you reckon?" He said, "Well, was it supposed to be all blocky?" And I said, yes. yeah, he said, well, it doesn't really fit with what you do. And I thought, well, that's a good thing. I thought, but also I thought it was interesting because there must be, as you're changing, your work won't necessarily fit, will it? And I think you've just got to sort of go with the flow and keep these pieces because they'll appeal, they'll appeal to somebody. But when you're working, it might be that that appears in a, in paintings later on if you don't do it you're not going to move are you and I think that's a very valid point is some people you know do collect work that's um at a certain stage in your career in your development or whatever and then we change and they may not change with us yeah but other people will see something else in the work and there'll be another audience and somebody else who recognizes something they want to see in, in what you're doing and I think you can't dilute where you're going because somebody liked what you did three months ago or six months ago or a year ago yeah. because we all change I mean gosh the world's changed but and there's no stopping it well, you know there's so let's change let's do that yeah and I think it goes both ways because I've oh, sorry, painting... I'm sorry I know, I know. <laughs> I can see you. I can see you're cr you're gradually moving off out of screen shot, and um, <laughs> trying to make the full figure. <laughs> and um, we keep getting a, an addition to the chat, walking past the way. Trying to do um, that. But I was just thinking, <laughs> sorry. Even in terms of buying art, the type of art I buy over the years has changed. Mm. Absolutely. So nobody can still really. No. So no, I think and and I think you know I'm looking at some of the stuff that I've done previously, and <laughs> I'm going to wave in a minute. Hi, <laughs> it's got no awareness, none whatsoever. Um, yes, yeah, some <laughs> some of the work that I was doing, you know, a couple of years ago. As much as it's still, I still relate to it, and I'm still happy that I painted it doesn't feel like it fits me anymore you know you do you you can't help but move on you can't help but move on but people isn't that still like it people still you know it, it's not necessarily it might be old to you in terms of what you're doing but it might be new mm. to them still so absolutely and that's the thing I'm still look at, at some paintings and think I'm glad I did you 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 
you know, it evokes certain memories, I think, yeah. um, of where you were and what you were doing. And, you know, it's, a, it's important I, stuff, but it's have, nice to... Yeah. I have to say this year, I think I've seen so much change in what I'm doing. Yeah. And it will all, it's all coming round and merging and some bits I've just, just you know, just chucked out. You know, I've thought, yeah. yeah, that was a good, good play, but no, I don't think I will. And yeah. it will be interesting, actually, this time next year to see where our work is again. You know, can well, you that's... imagine sort of, you know, <sighs> what, what will have inspired us this coming year and how that will impact or what courses we would have done that's impacted our work? Yeah, and it's interesting because I always previously have signed my work GLJ and put the year. And now I'm not. I'm just doing the GLJ because um, I think it's important not to mark time in that way now because time seems irrelevant. <laughs> I think the last 12 months have just been like, well, what was the point in that? You know, there's no point in marking what the date is because all of it's just they're just it's just fresh now let's just go with where we are yeah good i idea. don't know good is idea. that that's a bit bonkers too isn't it yeah. anyway so yeah so definitely definitely try new things that's all we can do is just keep trying new things mm. well i'm going to keep an eye out for new courses um in other things there's a a place called bristol print room and I've just seen that they've opened up for their one-to-one -one workshops. So I thought, oh, nice. I thought, oh, might might go and join Steph on that. She's really, nice. She's very, she's very good as an artist herself, but she doesn't teach a lot. So I just thought that might be worth exploring. But, Definitely. So anyway, what Definitely. what are you, what have been, what's inspired you this week in terms of generally? Generally, well, we have just, it, it's walking at the moment. We're, we're walking the dog every day, obviously. Um, and we collected her from the, the puppy parlour, whatever you call it, the groomers this morning. And we walked out to Caution Court, which I don't know if you've been there. And every time we drive down the A4, um, a road that's well-travelled, and on the right hand side is a big field full of, it's usually got sheep in it. It's, it's a lovely, it's beautiful kind of almost landscaped field with sheep. It's yeah. a proper old fashioned landscape of Wiltshire. You know, it's beautiful. And so today we walked in it and there's, there's a lake that I didn't know. I've lived here for many years <laughs> and there's a big lake and it was just beautiful. And the thing that really inspired me was the big sky. Oh. Big sky. It's just, I mean, it wasn't, it was blue sky, but there was also big grey clouds. But it was just the open expanse and feeling that you could breathe again. You know, that just being out. I think oh, being yeah. out yeah. has been so important. So that's what's inspiring me. So at the moment, blue is on my mind. So big blue. My, 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 yeah. What about you? It's not really inspiring, but I felt a lot better the gym reopened and I'm I'm not sort of somebody that sort of um is particularly sort of good at the gym or anything but I it was very good to get back and do the running machine and actually sort of start to get into a pattern again yeah I just feel healthier I just feel healthier once I've done a bit of exercise and I've been I, I, to I, to I, I need to <laughs> need to do some more exercise so I feel a lot better now I think that's I think that's why the walking's definitely helped me because um, I think it's very easy to feel enclosed at the moment and kind of restricted and it's lovely just getting out and walking when I've had a kind of a flat day yeah. knowing that I can go for a walk that it just lifts everything it just lifts everything yeah and the other the other thing is just laughing at things and there were, you know, I think it was a couple of program I was laughing at, but it was one thing I just have to mention. It's a friend of mine on Facebook had been down yeah. to bought it, and she had, she's, I think she's got a chalet or something down there. Anyway, so mm. she, they'd gone down there, and she'd gone for a walk on the beach, and 
totally early morning, totally empty. So she thought she'd, you know, just strip off and run into the sea. So this is all, nice. I saw it all on Facebook. Um, anyway, so she's been for a swim and she comes out and she's just, you know, getting changed. She stands bouncing on one leg, trying to get sort of clothes on. And she has this buzzing. So she's looking around for, you know, where's this buzz of wasp or something? And she looks up and right in front of her is a drone facing her. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> At which point I couldn't stop laughing. And I just thought, perfect. That is just, just perfect. I thought, you know, oh my God. of all things to happen, it really, it this really, has probably gone viral somewhere else. I know it probably has, but I just thought, you know, of all the things to see. <laughs> well, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But oh my god, I hope they didn't have the video on. I know, I know. Bless her. <laughs> Just it could only happen, to her. only happen to her. But there you go. Oh, what well, uh, mentioned you names. have the best friends. Yeah, I haven't mentioned names. No names in a pack drill. And I haven't mentioned exactly where in Dorset on the Dorset coast it is. I thought it was funny. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> well, the sunshine makes us do all sorts of things out of our comfort zone. <laughs> Shake my head. Yeah. Anyway, are we oh, going to brilliant. sort of leave it for now and see each other next week? That would be lovely. Yeah. What are you just very quickly before you go? Oh, yeah. Are you back in the studio this afternoon and are you painting? I'm not painting today. I am. I might do some more collage because I've got a bit more time than I thought and I've got preps and boards for a commission. And so I've been nice. doing, doing more, I think it's more prep work and um, I've got to tidy the studio up. It, there's no workspace at all at the moment. I've just... Well, luckily you can't see the other side of mine. Yeah, well, you can't see. I'm not going to turn the camera. The desk no, I'm not. is covered in stuff. So I need to I need to sort that. But so prepping boards and maybe a bit of the hundred day project. Nice. Yeah, me too. Well, like, Actually, I have. Doing well, I've I've got here. catch up to do on the hundred day project. Um, and also I've got a bit of catch up to do on Nick Wilton's CVP course, which obviously we've mentioned already. Yeah. Because um, yeah, I'm I'm just playing catch up this week. So, yes, I am loving it. But yeah. anyway, you have the best week ever. You, Enjoy the sunshine. You. Yeah. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, take care for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.